Move over Nemesis, this is Pandora. Pandora acts as a replacement for both Nemesis and Finis, and it is glorious. Launching this is almost instantaneous, no more waiting. So here's how it's installed. You're going to want to open up a browser window and search for Pandora Behavior Engine. You will see a GitHub listing by Monitor 221Hz. Open the link. On the right hand side of the window, you will see Releases. Beneath this, it will say Pandora Behavior Engine and the version number. Click this. Now scroll down the page until you reach the Assets window at the bottom of the page. Click the Pandora Behavior Engine zip file to download. Open up Mod Organizer 2 to get started on installation. Now you will want to ensure you have removed any traces of your existing engine before you install this one, be it Finis or Nemesis. Find your Nemesis Behavior Engine mod in the left-hand pane of MO2 and right-click. Select Remove Mod. Now do the same for your generated files. These may be under their own mod, such as Nemesis Output if you created one. Otherwise, these files will be in your Overwrite section. Select them and delete. Before you continue, you will need to ensure you download and install the .NET 8 desktop runtime. A link will be provided in the description below. Pandora will use this for full functionality. Download the correct version for your PC. For most users, this will be the x64 version. To check this, search for System on Windows and under Device Specifications, look for the system type as you can see here. Then open the downloaded executable to begin installation. Now inside MO2, click the icon of the screwdriver and spanner and select Install Mod. Navigate to your downloaded Pandora zip file and select it. And click OK. Now in the left hand pane, check the box to the left of the mod name to enable it. Now move into position above all of your animation mods. If you have the separators from the complete guide, you will want to place this under Animation Framework at the top of the separator. Once again, select the spanner icon, only this time select Create Empty Mod. Name this Pandora Output and click OK. Move this into position as the last mod file of your animation separator. All of your animations should now be sandwiched between the engine mod and the output mod. Now in the right hand pane, navigate to the Data tab. Scroll past these folders all the way down until you see Pandora Behavior Engine. You will want to find the one with the pink butterfly logo next to it listed as an application. Now right click on it and select Add as Executable. Click OK to the name. Now from your drop down bar in MO2, select Edit. Select Pandora Engine and you will see a box titled Create Files in Mod instead of Overwrite. Enable this by checking the box to the left of the title. From the drop down box that will now be available to select, you will see a list of your installed mods. Scroll down until you see the mod Pandora Output which we just created. Select it. Click Apply in the bottom right of the window. Now when you run Pandora, the files generated will automatically be placed within this mod rather than the overwrite section at the bottom of the page. Select Pandora Engine from the drop-down list and click Run. With Pandora, the options displayed here with the ability to enable them will only show for the mods that you actually have installed. In my case, I have these ones here you may or may not have them here depending on if you have any animations installed at this stage in your build. Select them, if they appear, and click Launch. Yep, it's really that fast. Not bad at all, huh? Now you can close Pandora, and if you were to open up Pandora Output mod we created, you will see the files inside that would by default 
be an overwrite, showing us it has worked successfully. And there you have it, perfect time for a brew.